It's more than a jumper. It's a tradition, a legacy. It crosses our hearts and unites us all. And now, more than ever. It's time to don the sash. Well, we've got the AFL here today and uh, we, we really feel this is an important part of us turning the corner. Um, we, we have to have a strong relationship with the AFL. 2013 uh, was an average year for the relationship, so we're about trying to rebuild with them and rebuild in many other ways. But having uh, Andrew Demetrio and Gould McLaughlin here today is an important part of uh, turning that corner. Well, it's super duper impressive. Um, it's probably much larger than I expected and I mean it's just first class and I mean if you're a, if you're a player um, gosh you'd want to be coming to training every day and it's great for the staff just to see the plan, the, the floor plan and the way everyone's, everything's set out. I mean look it's state of the art, really as an industry we should be proud of the fact we've got a club that's been able to put together something as comprehensive as this. Um, I think the only downside is we'll probably get other clubs coming to have a look at it or all want to replicate it but I um, know oh, I think the club should be congratulated because it's a it's just a wonderful facility. Oh, look, there's no doubt last year it was tested, but I mean, I think everyone from the AFL and from the Essendon Football Club wants to move forward and to work together. I mean, our, uh, our view, as I've said to your chairman, Paul Little, is that we want Essendon Football Club to succeed. Uh, we'll do everything we can to help the Essendon Football Club. I think the club's making progress on so many fronts. Besides coming into this facility, I mean, they've already put, the club's put practices in already around their integrity unit. It's taken up a lot of the recommendations around the protocols required to safeguard the club going into the future. Um, there's been change of personnel. I mean, I think the, the club is genuinely wanting to move forward, as are we, and, uh, you know, the relationship's um, evolving. It's very positive at the moment. Uh, I think there's genuine goodwill on both sides, and, uh, look, from our perspective, we want this club to succeed. I think the simple message is have great faith in your club. The clubs are, you know, our clubs are wonderful entities. They are the... You know, they're the, they're the actual lifeblood of the competition. Um, they mean a lot to so many people. And um, this club is a great club. And don't lose faith in your football club. Uh, every club has a setback here and there, and as we do at the AFL. But, uh, the, you know, the great thing is it's great to see the membership numbers are coming through. Um, there's a new start to this year. There's a new facility. There's a lot to look forward to. And we wish the club well and hopefully that they do well on field and uh, we can put the past behind us. After a sudden retrenchment, Simon made a positive change and got qualified with the Australian Institute of Fitness. You could be eligible for state and federal funding. Hit fitness.edu.au or call 1300 669 669.